Hey, it's recording and okay. So happy Monday, guys. Happy Monday. Happy Hope you all had a great weekend. Um, so this is a piece of text. Um, it says the world is sustained by three things: by truth, by justice, and by peace. So having that in mind, let's talk about truth for a second. Can I have a volunteer raise their hand and tell me what? their own personal definition of truth is. Yes, Emma. Not telling a lie. Just Excellent, I would agree. what actually happened. Yeah. Anybody else want to share? Allison. Something that's real. Something that's real. Okay. Excellent. So I have this definition, which is just one of many. It says that which is in accordance with fact or reality. So saying what's real in accordance with reality. So. I would say most people can agree with this, and um, there are many other versions of definitions of truth that are also acceptable. Um, cool. So the next word that was one of those three things was justice. Does anybody have an idea of what justice means to them? <laughs> this is kind of a tricky <laughs> one, but I promise you won't be wrong. Whatever you say. Ellen. Um, it's something dealing with fairness. I love those words. I love them. Anybody else want to share any ideas? Okay, I'll tell, tell you what I put as my definition, and I got these from like a dictionary. So um, it says the quality of being just, righteousness, equitableness, or moral rightness. So you mentioned equity. Equitableness is up there. So you hit it right on the head, I would say. So that's justice. And the last one, peace. Does anybody have an idea of what peace means? <laughs> I think we all would love some peace in our lives. This is true. Um, quiet. Good. Calm. Contentedness. That was a big word. I like it. All right. <laughs> I mean, have you seen vocabularists today? We love big words. Um, oh, no, I said it again. Oh, I'm so sorry. OK. <laughs> So, sometimes I say we when I really mean to say I. Anyway, so I love big words. Um, but anyway, this is the definition. <laughs> let's bring it back, let's bring it back. Peace. Let's be peaceful in this classroom. And this means freedom from disturbance, tranquility, so that's kind of like <coughs> calmness, a state or period in which there is no war or a war has ended. So that's more of a political, historical definition, but it can also mean tranquility, calmness, so, I hope we can all find a place of peace within ourselves as we go on through this class period. So now what I have up here, I'm going to speak this for you, do the actions, um, so you can just listen for this first time. It's going to go, clap your hands, stomp your feet, raise your hands up high to the sky. All right, now this time, could you please join me on these actions? So the little images where those are, you can join me on those. And you can just, yeah, like stop on the ground. Um, so <coughs> clap your hands, stomp your feet, raise your hands up high to the sky. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, Raise your hands up high to the sky. Yes, excellent. And that's good because stretching is always fun. So when you're raising your hands, you can really get that stretch in. All right. So now I would like you, I'm sorry, I would like you to join me on speaking the words now that you've heard it a couple times. So ready? Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Raise your hands up high to the sky. Again, clap your hands, stomp your feet. Raise your hands up high to the sky. All right, you know what I think? I think that we've been sitting for a very long time. And I think we should stand up. Stretch our legs out, shake it out. Excellent, we're feeling good. All right. So, you'll notice what I have up here now, I have heightened some of the words. 
What can you tell me? What do you think that that is gonna mean for you? Our voices are gonna change. Your voices are gonna change in what way? Maybe they'll get louder. Maybe they'll get louder. That is what. What else do you think it could mean? Higher, higher, lower. Higher, lower. You could go on your tippy toes if I don't know. I've always wanted to be a dancer, so that's something that I would love to do. Um, so uh, who said it? Emma? I think or Rachel? Higher. Alice, yes, Alice was the one that said that. Thank you for giving me that look. Um, I'm so sorry. So yes, that these are going to <coughs> correspond to how high or low the pitches are going to be. So I'm going to sing it. Would you please continue joining me on the clapping, stomping? I'm I'm going to get a pitch quick. Okay. So. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, raise your hands up high to the sky. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, raise your hands up high to the sky. All right, now. Would you guys like to join me on the singing? Yeah. I know you want to. You're like dying to sing these notes. Okay. So let's all sing it together and keep clapping and stomping and all that. So starting here. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, raise your hands up high to the sky. And repeat. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, raise your hands up high to the sky. Excellent. That is sounding just lovely. And Jordan has his hands up still. He just loves the feeling of that. I understand. Um, I'm going to sing it again. And you can just listen this time. And somebody's going to change. So I want you to listen for what that is. All right. Cla and you can clap with me still. Let's do that. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Raise your hands up high to the sky. Who heard something? Rachel, what did you hear? It wasn't as high. It wasn't as high? What wasn't as high? Your hands in sky. That's true. <laughs> Emma, and what did the you notes. hear? Um, the notes. Raise your hands up high to the sky. That's what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I think we all heard the same thing. So it wasn't quite as high. It changed a little bit, specifically at this part of the phrase. I'm going to sing just from here one more time, and you can listen. Raise your hands up high to the sky. Can we try that together? Just from here. Raise. Ready? Raise your hands up high to the sky. Yes. Perfect. All right. Now, what we just sang is what that is. So, that's what it looks like written out there. So, we're going to start with this slide. And then I'm going to switch the slide, and we're going to sing the next slide. And we're just going to do each of the slides just once through. So all together, it'll be twice through the phrase, but the phrase is going to change the second time. So starting here, clap. Ready? Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Raise your hands up high to the sky. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet, raise your hands up high to the sky. Excellent. That's sounding very lovely. So I'm going to introduce something new now. So has anyone seen these words before? Does it look familiar? No. No? Probably because it's Hebrew, and I think most of us speak English. So this is the Hebrew text that... Do you remember that text I showed you at the beginning? Mm -hmm. Does anyone remember what it said? Justice. 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 Truth. Peace. Truth. Truth. And the world is sustained by truth, justice, and peace. So that was a translation of this Hebrew text, and it comes to us from Jewish morality laws. So I am going to speak some words. I'm going to have you repeat after me. So all, <coughs> all, shlo, shlo, sha, sha, all, all. Shlosha. Shlosha. Divarim. Divarim. Hao. Hao. 
Lam, Lam, Kayam, Kayam, Al Shlosha, Al Shlosha, Divarim Haolam, Divarim Haolam, Kayam, Kayam. Excellent. Now, there's a specific syllable in here that I think can get a little bit crazy. Um, sh, shlosha. It's kind of a funny word. It's a, uh, gotta love that sh sound. You know how when people are trying to quiet a group down, they're always like shh, and it's like kind of obnoxious, and it's really loud, and you're like, oh, you're being louder than the person that was talking in the first place. So with those, <laughs> with those syllables, I want you to just brush right past them and don't spend too much time on them because that's not what's important about the word. So shlosha. Shlosha. Excellent. So, now that we know the words, I'm going to put those in our handy dandy little slide. And let's try it on the text. So, we're starting here. And keep clapping and stomping and all that good stuff. Ready? Excellent, good job with that guys. I think we'll end it there for today. Yay.